Perhaps you would like an analgesic cream? No! Hello, this is Scorith of the Crimson Renegades, and welcome back to Playthrough, featuring Star Trek Voyager Elite Force. Last time, we found the rest of the crew of the Hazard Team locked in these pods, and now we're trying to find our way out. Finally shut down the Indian vessel's main power core. Foster and, I, Foster and I are the only ones left, so let's go do that. Health energy terminal. Plenty of ammo. I wonder if we're going to fight a giant moth person boss. That would be an interesting way to end this level, don't you think? Let's go ahead and take out these generators we see here. That way we don't have to do... Oh, uh, crap. Okay, run anyway. Okay, the generator before the fireflies spawn too many more of them. And run into the teleporter. Here they come. Get through, and what up here in the cutscene happens. Do not stop power. My people in stasis will die. Uh, Just a minute. what? The moth people can talk? You trapped us on your ship and attacked us. You invade us, believed you were the others, tried to contact you. The communication methods very different. You attack us. Uh, okay. By be bashing our heads in with their moth wings? Analyze them. Learn your language. We are Ethereans. Oh, I can't call them bad people anymore, or moth people. We are called Ethereans. A colony ship. Must be a sleeper ship for long voyages. Yes. Long journey. New home. Never will see it now, we fear. The forge has us. No escape. Forge? We're sorry for the misunderstanding. For killing some of your people. We were only acting in self-defense. Yeah, because the Ethereans are beating our brains in. When injured, our people return to stasis. We generate. Oh. Your people too, not killed, in stasis. Analyzed. Those pods. On behalf of my people, I apologize. We thought the vessel was abandoned. We only wanted information from your computer. We're trying to find our way out of here. Our knowledge is yours. Request and receive. We are allies. We will know our defenses. You may return to your vessel. You'll find so life. kind of you. You'll get to your new home. Foster to Voyager. Lieutenant, it's good to hear your voice. What happened over there? We got attacked by moth people. Back. Let's just say we've made an ally. But we have injuries. We need to move directly to sickbay. Stand by. <laughs> Chill was surrounded by moth people. Sigbe has the wounded. We're ready to beam you back now. Acknowledged. Lost your eye. Alright. Creepy. But at least we're safely off the moth ship and back on Voyager. Difficult mission, Monroe. It looked pretty bad out there for a while, but we got the job done. Have the doctor look at you and then join me in Hazard Ops. I'll be assembling the rest of the team for debriefing. Yes, sir. Healed yeah, by the doctor. He's allowed to just four and report to the locker room for debriefing. Take a turbo lift to get there. Yeah, looks like he's okay. He's just laying there blinking. Tom. Hmm. Looks like you guys took a little beating over there. Hey, Doc, want to take a look at Monroe? What? No. No doctor. No. I don't like doctors. I don't like needles. Stay away. Haha, <laughs> you're trapped on you trapped on the wall. Haha, <laughs> you can't get to me. Such for so much for a smart holographic doctor. Oh, you can go around that way though. No. Stay away from me. Stay away. I don't like doctors. Especially holographic ones. Ah, uh, wait, you're a hologram. You can't go outside. Ha, oh, you can't go outside. You can't. You can go outside. That's not supposed to be possible. Why is this happening? It must be a nightmare. Oh, who's trapped me? No, stay away. No! Doctor. Oh, Mr. Monroe. Stay away, I can get away. I can get away! Rather superficial. 
dermal regeneration will not be necessary. Okay, leave me alone. Have some mild skin irritation. Perhaps you would like an analgesic cream. No. Uh, whatever. Don't touch me with that. Don't touch me with that. Get away from me. You're not even supposed to be out here. You're supposed to be a hologram. You're supposed to be invisible at this point. You're not supposed to exist. That's a sick bike. What's going on? You don't even have the mobile emitter. Ah, never mind. Got healed by the doctor. Succeeded. Go to the lounge on deck four to rest, and then report to the locker room for debriefing. Take a turbo lift to get there. Now that we've gotten over our scare of the doctor, we'll just mosey on back to the trans the turbo lift, which is not here. Hey, Monroe. Huh? What? Hey, uh, red shirt. I'm sure you'll die later. Is this a turbo lift? Yes, it is. Entering new area. And we go up the turbo lift. Or down, whichever way we are. Alright. I think we're on the right floor. This time the turbo lift did not break on us when we got out. Okay, we gotta go to where again? Oh, the locker room, right. Which is over here. Locker room. Running, running, running. Um, okay. Here I am. Nobody's here. Oh, go to the lounge to rest first. Okay, missed that step. My mistake. Okay. Oh, well, like I showed you earlier, the lounge is over on the left. Now we're going to go visit it because the storyline tells us to go there. Okay. Now we're going to run through here. So hold the run button. And it's right here on the left. Don't go all the way down there. There's something down there. Hit the door. Seven was tough, but we only lived there for a couple of years. You think you had it tough? Try being a Betazoid on Vulcan, where any hint of emotion is frowned upon. Betazoid. Hey, Betazoids are just disturbing. Sick bay? So, how's the Oralite cobbler? Delicious. Thank you. She sounds interested. Mr. Chang, your carnalith stew. Great, thanks. You know, you really didn't have to hand make all this for us. Well, just because you're on duty doesn't mean you should be forced to eat replicator rations. Thank you, Neelix. <laughs> and he's creepy too. I always found him weird. But Betazoids freak me out mostly because of Troy's mother, Lux. I don't even able to pronounce her name. Um, but yeah, she's always really disturbed me, and the, the, the thought of somebody being able to read your mind at will kind of freaks me out. Kind of like some redhead lady from another game that starts with Star. You pig! Oh, sorry, I didn't know you actually you know, could read my mind from outside a game disc. Right. Anyway, that's uncomfortable. I'm moving on. I think we've rested now, so let's go back to the locker room. Run down the hallway here. Go in the door. And look, there's people here now. I still can't believe we were all nearly killed last time. Hey, you weren't. You yeah. were fine. They missed us up pretty good. Well, you got captured we twice. We didn't know what to expect. We didn't have all the information. Hey, Monroe. Alex, did you hear anything about where they're sending us next? Why am I, I always the information person? Talking about the scavengers. Oh, yeah? I ran into Kim. He was going over the data we brought back. He says they had some data on that machine that brought us here. Hey, Monroe. Word has it I'll be coming along in the next mission. Some kind of stealth operation? Well, as long as you don't die like you did in the Borg. All available hazard team personnel report to the briefing room. Oh, this will be a long walk. Hey, look, we made it. And everybody's the already here. The team retrieved, we've been able to learn a few things about our situation. Oh, there's Chicote. This is called the Forge. It's generating the Dapin field that takes giant Voyager and the other ships trapped. Thing. Do we have any idea what's running that thing, or why it's here? No, the Ethereans had no detailed information about it. Except it's big and made of metal. Know it could be a simple machine, but our main concern right now is finding a way out of here. This is Isodesium, a rare isotope that doesn't seem to be affected by the dampening field. Belana thinks she can use it to get repairs done and bring main power back online. That's good. Then, hopefully, Voyager can escape. The sensor info from the Ethereans shows that there is Isodesium nearby. Oh, even better. Very convenient. Where could it possibly be? Someplace easy? It's located Wait, here. Wait, unfortunately. Uh... What is that? 
the scavenger's base of operations. Oh, great. These are the scavengers. A loose alliance of survivors from the other starships trapped here. They survived by raiding Mainline, other ships for supplies. Cling by on. attack on Voyager earlier. The Isodecium was most likely stolen oh boy, from other those ships. guys are always fun. Looks like they use some of it, but most of it is scattered around and their base. Terran. They probably don't know if it's energy Starcraft? Potential. No, no, different kind of Terran. It's imperative that we get the Isodecium and get Voyager functioning again. They're from the Mirror Universe. Don't know what other surprises we'll encounter here, or what. If you've ever seen the original Star Trek series. Sensors show hundreds of scavengers on that base. All races we're familiar with. Klingon, human, Malon, and Herogen. They got rid of the extra introduce a new alien species, here, so like the moth people. A stealth infiltration and retrieval operation. They seem to have a transporter inhibitor field, so a team of five will be shuttled to the base by Ensign Paris. Once there, Ken and I will set up an extraction point. Monroe, Telsia, and Odell will split up and retrieve three samples of the Isodesium each. When you're done, you will make your way back to the extraction point. That's it, people. Now get prepped and report to the shuttle bay. Good a stealth you. mission. Great. I am so good at stealth missions. I can't freaking wait to do this. Go to the equipment room and get prepped for the mission. Go to the shuttle bay on deck 10. Use a turbo lift to get there. You can visit the holodeck like I mentioned before. According to the blue information, you can visit the holodeck located within the rear of the equipment room to test out new weapons before the mission. Well, let's go and find out what kind of new weapons they may have ready for us. Huh. Yeah, Chakotay again. Good work, Wire. Take this to the captain. Yes, sir. Watch it. Why can't you go between us? Not that big. Or, not that fat. Jesus. Ass. Okay, I guess I can't talk to him. Monroe, good luck on the mission. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Oh. Thanks. Ooh, shiny new weapon. We just finished replicating the new compound grenade rifle. I know it's a stealth mission, but you never know what you're going to run into out there. Can't hurt to be prepared. Grenade! The primary trigger launches a taser grenade, and the secondary launches magnetic charges. You might want to test it out on the holodeck here first. We're going to do that this time. We're going to pick up the other weapons as well. But we are definitely going to test out the uh, this new grenade launcher in the holodeck. Go to the holodeck. Talk to the control panel. You don't have to do this, but it's good Initiating to get if you're not Camelot. if you're not familiar with the weapons that you are going to be picking up the game. Neutralize all 20 enemies. And they're already attacking us with something. Ow! Oh, crap. That would have been bad. Alright, let's ignore that one first. As you can see, it's firing mode, fires, you know, typical grenades, just like any other grenade launcher. It's secondary mode. Which is your grenade, so a grenade will either explode on impact when it hits an enemy or explode after a brief amount of time. Its secondary fire is a mine launcher, which works the same as a grenade, only once it hits an object, it sits, it sits still. It, it's not a permanent mine, it doesn't sit there for like long periods of time, it's only for a few short moments. Go up here. This is a program called Camelot, so we're inside a stone castle. Somehow they're firing like bolts of energy and a crossbow. Whoa! I ah, didn't dodge that one. Ah, got it. Oh, didn't kill one. That one did. Got the stairs here. This guy here. You don't have to use a grenade launcher for this mission. Like I said, you don't actually have to do this mission at all. It's just something you can do to get used to any new weapons you might pick up. The mission that they give you to go in to pick up a new weapon changes depending on uh, the weapon that you use. Which I think you only can use this like two times, maybe three in the entire game. But when you do go in, you're stuck. You can't back out, I don't think. I've never actually backed out, so if there's a way to back out, I apologize. I've never actually backed out before. I've gone ahead and just completed the whole thing. 
And since this weapon was made by Starfleet, that means it uses the blue energy weapons, not non-lithium crystals. I'm pretty good with that. I don't really care much for grenade launchers, mainly because I'm not that accurate with them, and if you miss the target, they can walk away from the grenade before it explodes. That's kind of a waste of ammo. I prefer direct fire, direct fire weapons. The only reason they're able to hit these guys is they pretty much stand still. They never move around. Excellent. And that's it. Once you hit all 20 of them, it's over. And when you're done, you teleport back to you end up back in the hologram or the holodeck. No, it doesn't work. <laughs> you can do it with that hand, but not the other one. <laughs> Seraphine is trying to do the uh, the live long and prosper the the finger split thing that the Vulcans do. She can do it with her left hand, but somehow she can't seem to do it with her right hand. <laughs> and I'm talking about the finger split thing, so don't get any nasty thoughts, people. All right, now that you well, uh, once you come out of the holodeck, view, by the way, it completely fills up your ammo. So you don't have to worry about anything like running out of ammo, then cover to go pick it up again. And uh, once that's done, go to the shuttle bay on deck 10, so we need to use a turbo lift. We're not going to be taking the transporter this time. We'll be taking the turbo lift and on a, and taking the, actually the Delta Flyer. When we get there, we'll be when we get to the shuttle bay, will it be straight onto the shuttle bay and straight straight onto the Delta Flyer and straight to uh, our scavenger? Find out next time on fe uh, playthrough featuring Star Trek Voyager Elite Force. This is Scorer from the Crimson Renegades. I'll see you later.